guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be reading We Don't Eat Our Classmates. If you have this book at home, make sure you read along with us. We can read this real quick. It's Penelope's first day at school and she can't wait to meet her classmates. But making friends is hard when they're so delicious. Readers will gobble up this hilarious new story from award-winning author illustrator Ryan T. Higgins. Let's start. We Don't Eat Our Classmates. By Ryan T. Higgins. Hey kids, you'll never be eaten by a T-Rex. They're extinct, I promise. A dedication page here. To mom for passing along her love of books and to dad for making me a storyteller. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. And she looks super duper nervous. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches. That's a lot of tuna sandwiches. And one apple juice. Finally, the big day came. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were... Children! Here's the teacher. Okay, next page. So she ate them. Because children are delicious. Penelope Rex! Said Mrs. Noodleman. We do not eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She's about to chomp them, though. She finger-painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. Look at how sad she is. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends. Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex? Her father asked. Did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe sort of just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad. Especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside. Just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, the Penelope A. William Omodo again. And they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. 
So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. <laughs> Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. And she has a little band-aid on her finger. I like the teacher's outfit. She stopped eating her classmates, even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon, Penelope made friends. Found you. Want a brownie? I helped make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter, the goldfish, stares right back at her and licks his lips. She's like, Because dinosaurs are delicious. That's the end of this book. We hope you y'all enjoyed it. If you like more story time videos, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We also upload a toy video each week. You can check those out too. Thanks to the, the Scholastic Book Fair where we bought this book. Don't forget to check out your local library and support your local bookstore. Bye-bye. This edition is available for distribution only through the school market. You can find it at scholastic.com.